Hey doll fans, welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today, I'm going to be talking about some new dolls which are coming out. I'm really excited for some of these dolls. If you enjoy toys and doll collecting as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram. But without further delay, let's talk about some of these new dolls. Okay, so we have these prototype images of some new colour reveal Barbie dolls. And I have to say, they don't look that bad. I mean, the clothes are still a bit clowny. They love garish, bright colours in clashing patterns with the colour reveal dolls. Um, but I have to say, they have rooted hair. That's nice. I like rooted hair. Again, you know, these dolls are very subject to change because they're just prototypes. The, um, the image isn't incredibly high quality. The dolls that come out could be completely different. Um, but I think overall, I don't hate these. The hair looks like it might be nice quality. It's nice and long. I just wish they had better clothes, basically. Um, and more articulation. But I'm starting to sound like a broken record. I say that about all the colour reveal dolls. Um, these are not the worst. Okay, here is a Barbie, like, space-themed set. Um, I th I'm trying to figure out if there's a movie associated with this. Um, I think there might be. This looks like quite a fun set, you know? It's quite cute. Um, Barbie's got her own little spaceship. Very aspirational and inspirational for young girls and boys. Uh, the doll looks quite cute in her little space suit. And, um, in one of the other images you can see that the doll actually has articulation at the knees, which I'm very happy with. She comes with a pet, of course. All Barbies come with a pet these days. And her pet even has its own little mini spaceship, which is quite cute. Okay, we have these images of new, uh, Harry Potter dolls made by Spin Master. And, yeah, I think they're quite cute. Um, they're a bit more stylized than the Mattel, um, Harry Potter dolls. They look like reasonably nice quality. I'm not sure if I'll get them. I've kind of gone off Harry Potter a little bit ever since everything that's been going on with JK Rowling. Okay, I'm a little bit late to the party talking about this doll because some doll uh, YouTubers are already unboxing her and reviewing her, um, which I may do one day as well. Uh, this is Leopard Hair Rainbow Barbie. I really don't like the skirt, although I am getting strong LGBTQ plus um, vibes from this doll, which I love. And with Pride right around the corner, um, I feel like, you know, it's nice to have a doll which feels like it's in celebration of Pride, even if it's not made explicit. It'd be really nice if Barbie could make a Pride doll. One day, Barbie, please, a Pride doll, that'd be great. I'm not a massive fan of the shaved head, but it looks cool here. I love the hair. I quite like the silver top that she's got on. Uh, and this doll does have very strong 80s vibes, and I love the 80s. Also, I love these white boots she's got on. We've seen this uh, shoe sculpt before, but I love it. Okay, now we have our first individually packaged OMG Guys doll. And wow. <laughs> Um, he's really cute. I liked the shaved head. I think he's got quite a cool style. I feel like the graffiti all over him is a little bit weird. I don't know. Some of it I don't really like. Some of it I do. He's got a little bit of a TikTok vibe going on. Yeah, his name's Cool Lev? Leave? Cool Leave. I don't know. It says love on his hoodie, which is quite cute. I don't know. I just... I don't know, there's something I don't like about it, and I can't put my finger on it. I'm still gonna buy him though, don't get me wrong. I nearly own every single one of the OMG dolls, there's only six I don't, I don't own. Okay, here is an OMG doll, I love her, her name is called Miss Glam. She's meant to be like a kind of birthday present doll, I think. Um, she's got a big over the top skirt, really cute little hair bunchies. Uh, not a massive fan of the shoes, I will say that. She's got like, um, high, like super high top, high heeled converse. Bit tacky. I love her glittery, like, bralette. Very cute. Um, there's loads of things I really like about this doll, but it's maybe a little bit tacky, but I do like this doll. Here are the OMG BTW dolls. We spoke about these in a previous video, but we didn't have very good quality images. So I just want to say, I think these dolls are really cute. 
really adorable and I will definitely be buying them. Um, they remind me so much of the Bratz kids. Um, in fact, the OMG dolls in general remind me of the Bratz and I love it. The first doll has a very Cher from Clueless, like cutesy vibe going on. I might buy her first, she's very cute. The second one along has a slightly more grungy, like, um, vibe. She's really cute. I really like her trousers with the, like, acid wash. Those are awesome. And the silver jacket. Maybe I'll buy her first. And then the next one along, uh, I really like her tracksuit bottoms. Again, not a massive fan of the graffiti on them. I don't know why, I just don't like that. But I like her top with the netting underneath. Ooh, actually, maybe I'll get this one first. The last one um, in the lineup has a kind of rockabilly kind of style. Uh, very cute. I love her long red hair and her like curled fringe and her cat eye sunglasses. She's amazing. Okay, now we have these like ocean friends, I think they're called like Barbie dolls. I actually really like these. They're very summery, very basic, like very basic dolls. And they actually come in like completely recycled packaging, which is a cool idea. Um, and again, a great message. Okay, now this might be the first time I've ever spoken about Enchantimals on this channel. But the Enchantimals are bringing out slightly taller, 20 centimeter tall, um, to be exact, dolls. I guess this is the Enchantimals version of the like OMG dolls, if you know what I mean. Um, they're slightly taller. They've got removable fashion, which I love. They're still quite basic, you know, they're made by Mattel, and Mattel always cuts corners when it comes to quality. Um, it would be nice if they had more fabric in the fashions. I don't like these, like, clip-on plastic accessories. No, no. But overall, I think these dolls are really cute and ethereal, and I definitely will be buying one. And they have a bend at the knees. Extra points. Okay, now these are the Barbie looks dolls. I love that Barbie is bringing out a whole host of slightly more high-end, high-quality, collectible um, dolls. You know, we've had the Barbie extra dolls, now we've got these Barbie look dolls, we've got the Barbie style doll, although that one is slightly too overpriced. I made a whole video about that doll if you want to watch it. These dolls look stunning. They've got, like, made-to-move bodies, um, They've got very simple fashion, which I quite like because it means that you can buy like fashion packs for them or kind of restyle them yourself. And they look like models, you know what I mean? They look stunning, they look beautiful. There's a really diverse array of skin tones and slight nods to their style and their personality. I love these dolls, I just hope they're not too expensive. Around 25 pounds would be ideal for me, Mattel. Thank you, please and thank you. Okay, here are some Barbie Big Dreams, Big City, I think that's what it's called, um, dolls, which are coming out to coincide with a new Barbie movie. Um, and I'm very interested to see this film. I think Barbie is going in a slightly different direction with this film. I think it's definitely going to be better than all the Chelsea films that have been coming out recently. Ugh, I find those so boring. Um, this one we have the basic dolls, where they're in just like everyday clothes, and then the dolls where they're dressed up as like pop stars kind of gives you a hint to what the story is going to be about in the film. And the pop star dolls have like light up chests. It's a shame for both of these dolls that the articulation is so awful still, but at least they have like fun removable fashions um, and I am very intrigued to see this film. Last but not least we have our first look at the Barbie holiday dolls and yeah. I, I'm kind of underwhelmed. I'm kind of underwhelmed. The bodice, the top half of the dress, it looks like it's made out of plastic. Which, you know, you know these dolls are going to end up costing like 50 quid. Where's the quality, Mattel? The makeup and the hair uh, for all three looks really nice. The material used on the bottom half of the dress looks insanely cheap. Looks insanely cheap. Like, it looks like wrapping paper, which is just not a vibe. And I just feel like they haven't really done anything daring or revolutionary with this outfit. It's very kind of standard, you know, it's just not very interesting. 
and the quality just isn't there. So, not super happy with this doll. Will I be buying her? Absolutely. I own every single Holiday Barbie. <laughs> I made a video all about that as well. Um, what do you guys think of these dolls? There we go, doll fans. I gave my thoughts and feelings about some of the new Barbies and OMG dolls and Enchantimals that are coming out soon. Please let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Check me out on Instagram and have a really great week. I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>